Are you ready for a new kind of Disney movie? Full of strong female characters, no forced romantic subplots, and a celebration of Polynesian culture? Then you'll love Lilo and Stitch. Did not see that coming. Oh, and probably also Moana. Meet Moana, a strong, determined young woman who won't stop until she gets the job done. I am Moana. You will board my boat, sail across the sea, and restore the heart of Te Fiti. Who, after 90 minutes of adventure, becomes a strong, determined young woman who won't stop until she gets the job done. I am Moana. You will board my boat, sail across the sea, and restore the heart of Te Fiti. She's indestructible. <laughs> She's fearless, and she's got water powers just as confusing and vague as Elsa's ice magic in Frozen. So wait, does she even have any water powers at all? Or does it only protect whoever has the glowy thing? And if the ocean has her back, why does it keep trying to drown her? Ah! Help me! Follow along on Moana's quest to save her homeland by following a super obvious sign. Maui lies there in a journey that pokes fun at all of Disney's usual tropes. If you wear a dress and you have an animal sidekick, you're a princess. If you start singing, I'm gonna throw up. While at the same time being 100% guilty of them. From her cute animal sidekicks, to her grand Mufasa, to her genie, Maui, an all-powerful, charismatic, brawling, tattooed demigod. So pretty much The Rock. Enjoy the highest honor a culture can receive these days, having your traditions commodified by the Disney Corporation. And watch as the Polynesian people, who traveled between islands thousands of miles apart thousands of years ago, are represented by paranoid coconut lovers who would rather starve to death than sail past a three-foot break. We were voyagers. We can voyage again! How lay forever, I guess. So enjoy a film with a soundtrack people can't stop gushing about because the guy from Hamilton is involved and not even the ocean gushes as hard as Hamilton fans featuring songs like the They're Really Into Coconut song. You can't escape, we're gonna keep you around and force you to stay exactly where you are. But, but hey, we, we got, got coconut. coconut. Hell yes! Coconut sweet! We're all obsessed with the coconut, it's so culty. You marry a coconut when you turn 13. We worship that Tom Hanks movie. You all are freaks. The uh-oh, we're making the rock sing song? You can smell what I'm cooking. I'll save your franchise, make money, no problem. You all recognize my voice, my mind. But in one respect, I'm kind of flawed. I can do anything except sing. Auto-tune couldn't get me on track I'll be president someday, still I can't sing But who else pulls off a fanny pack? The Let It go is song After Frozen did well for Disney They told me to sing a clone of Let It Go If a song about girls being free makes more money you should know Like a Delta team It's an off-brand Let it go And the beautiful song In a foreign language That can be saying Anything song Hello, hello Hey, hey, I hope you like that one, because it turns out it's really friggin' hard to find a Tokelauan translator. Starring Nemo, Choking the Chicken, David Glowy, Shy Guys, and wow, Troy Polamalu really let himself go. Pacific Swim. Okay, so wait a second. Rapunzel has demon hair, Elsa has ice powers, and Moana is a waterbender? Are we building up to Disney's Princess Avengers? Hey, Screen Junkies, who doesn't need more of The Rock in their life? Click the box on the left to see Dwayne The Rock Johnson play all of your favorite Disney characters as only he can. And if you want to learn more about Moana, click the box on the right to watch our interview with Jared Bush, screenwriter of Moana and the Oscar-winning Zootopia. Bargain, I've come to Dormammu. Potatoes will end humanity as the prophecy foretold. And the Oscar goes to Suicide Squad. 
My favorite movie last year was La La Land. I mean Moonlight. I gave Warren Beatty the wrong envelope.